It's Valentine's Day in Colonia San Miguel in Mexico City, and Fidel and Amelia Silva are taking their grandchildren to school. At the last minute, Senor Silva buys two roses for young Carlos and Luis to give to their teachers. It's a storyline of love playing out simultaneously in other parts of the world. But like one-third of the world's population, this family lives in poverty with limited access to water or adequate sanitation. Here in the Iztapalapa region of the planet's second largest metropolis, there are thousands of families like this one. Many live side by side in tiny shacks like the Silvas, made of corroded metal sheets, decaying tar paper, and cement bricks. Most pieces of the homes are scavenged from junk piles, and electricity comes from a spider web of wires dangerously attached to the power lines above. Back at her home, Emilia Silva hangs clothes out to dry. To her side, five rusting containers hold about 200 gallons of water near her makeshift kitchen and laundry area. These tanks must supply enough water for the family's needs all week. With the ground around him covered with piles of refuse and dog feces, Mr. Silva explains the situation. So they only receive water here on Saturdays. ¿A qué hora? Más o menos cae a veces a las 12, a la 1, máximo hasta las 2 o 3 de la mañana. Cae agua. Mrs. Silva's warm smile tries to hide years of hardship in the barrio, but she takes pride in providing food for her family. This afternoon's meal is of tortillas with meat and tomatillos, served in the cramped room where the family of seven all sit together on a single bed. Here, as elsewhere around the world, a lack of water usually means poor sanitation. It's especially hard to keep clean without water. The toilet is flushed here only when they can stand the reek no more. Clothes are washed sparingly, and bathing is with a small bucket. Diarrhea and intestinal diseases are common, and the little water that does flow in the plastic pipe that snakes through the dirt is not safe to drink. Vendors travel daily throughout the neighborhoods, passing on the street just below, yelling, water for sale. They sell five-gallon containers of water for seven and a half pesos. That's about 68 cents. For Senora Silva, the expense can be a large portion of the family income, and she's too proud to say just how much. Engineers in Iztapalapa say there isn't enough water to go around, and that they could meet the needs of most kids in Iztapalapa, like young Carlos and Luis, if only they could keep the pipes full. Meanwhile, Luis rushes home from school with his valentines on this day, tokens of affection and esteem in a place where life is hard and hope is precious. The human body is 75% water, whether it resides in Mexico, India, or America. As we are bound by the symbol of our hearts, we're bound by our shared dependence on water and our need to protect this essential element of life. In this street of Colonia San Miguel, young Luis runs alone, but all our children are not far behind.